Welcome to my world. All right, guys. 16 ounces of magic resin. I just took from the, the resin mixer. I just need to scrape the sides a little bit. Make sure everything got. I rubbed the bottom. Sorry, something went wrong. Oop. Please try again later. That's my um, A-L-E-X-A over there picking up on stuff. But anyway, so yes, there's little micro bubbles in my magic resin. However, I have faith in magic resin. Now my resin today, the temperature was at around 64. It's 67 in here. So what I did was I keep my crock with water in it and before I start to use, um, or start to uh, use resin, I turn that crock on about 45 minutes ahead of time to high, and I let that water get hot, and then I drop it down to low, and then I just scoop it out into a container that I use, and I pour my resin up just part A, and I put that in the hot water today, um, ended up uh, with a phone call, so by the time I got back to my part A, it was at 88. I usually don't ever let it go above 85, but with the temperature of part B when I mixed it in, it brought it right back down. So um, there's that. I'm going to set that to the side over here. Let me grab a paper towel and wipe this off for now. Set that over there. Now, what we're going to do today is, because I did the uh, teal and opal coaster set, but I'm wanting more of a mix going from teal to the opal with a hint of pink, or, or not necessarily pink, but what I'm going to use is Raspberry Delight, just a little bit, in with Laser Peacock Blue. And... Then for my opal, I'm going to use the Refino or Renfio or however you say the R-E-N-F-I-O opal. Um, so that's what we're going to do today and see how much we can do with these uh, coasters. These are each hold three ounces. Um, I mark them. And um, this will hold uh, just about four. So let's start with mixing the glitters into the resin first. And I'm, uh, let's see, just gonna get one of the wide lollipop sticks and I'm just gonna put like two of those in there. Tap the bag like that, it'll knock it down back into the bag. And by the way, this is from Glitter Makes It. I have. I don't even know how much glitter makes it. I love glitter makes it. And then I'm going to put the laser peacock blue in there. And this is the LEO BRO Libro. I get that from Amazon as well. And this is a mix. You can see it's a mix of fine all the way up to some chunk. I'm going to do three. Knock that stick off inside there and tap that down. And there's my resin. We're just going to pour it in. And I'm going to take it up to the level right above the top one. And I'll tell you how much resin that was here. As soon as this settles down, I had 16. I'm at nine. So I put seven ounces of resin in this cup with that glitter. I need to get it up from the bottom. But I like to put it in first. I like to put the glitter in first if I, if I think about it um, or if I can. Um, because it just doesn't make as big of a mess. But see, I got a little bit of the raspberry in there with that. I didn't want a lot, just wanted a little, see. 
All right, so let's set that to the side. And we're gonna mix up the opal. Let me get another big old lolly stick. And going to put as much I'm only going to go to like three lines up from the bottom there we go set that over there to the side and as always this is on a leveling table with a heat mat and I'm stirring now I have to check these heat mats from time to time um, because after a while, they will start wrinkling, and then you won't get a level table. So, those, when they start wrinkling, I move those to my tumbler table, because it doesn't matter. I lay the heat mats underneath the tumblers, so that when I cover everything, the heat comes up around the tumblers. Now, that opal's good right there. Awesome. Loving it. All right. So I'm going to move this and this out of the way. And we're going to do these. And let me get a piece of tape. And these 3D printed trays hold the round molds and the square molds so that the sides don't get weak. And you know how sometimes you get... Uh, side that once the resin gets in it, it lays out and so you don't have uh, perfect symmetrical sides. Um, my husband prints these for me on his 3D printer. So it works out well. Alright, so I'm going to take some of my, my big bottle 99% isopropyl alcohol. I buy that from Amazon as well. Um, I think uh, I have like um, the bottles, the the uh, quart size, um, 32 ounce actually. I get two of them at a time. I think they're nine or eleven dollars. I'm not real sure. It's been a while, but I buy the gallon at a size from or gallon at a time from um, like Ace Hardware, and it's about twenty eight dollars a gallon when I do it that way. So, let's do this, I'm scraping these little lolly sticks off. There we go. And we're going to pour. Oh, that's pretty. Oops, we're good. I'm not filling them to the top. These are thick molds. Like I said, they hold three ounces each when you're, um, when you're filling them. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my, this is a, the tip off of a crafting syringe, and I'm just going to go around the edges 
just like that. Now, and I go all the way to the bottom, but this tip is so coated in resin, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? And these coasters I've had for at least a couple of years, and they are used quite a bit, and um, I have, I don't know, probably 20 of them, but um, I try to swap them out. But it's not that big a deal. They're not that expensive. <clears throat> so, I want to do just a little bit of swirl like that. And I am going almost to the bottom. Cause I want it to be, and you, if I don't know if you can see or not, but I love magic resin. I don't know how many times I can say that. I want you to see the little bubbles that are coming up, and I don't use heat very rarely. I mean, 99% of the time I use alcohol. Watch the bubbles dissipate. See. Alright, and as I'm looking at this, I can see that these are all pretty even. They're pretty even. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to do a little heart. I like a heart because I'm doing a tray. I like a heart. So I'm going to pour a little of this in there on this side. And I've got that tipped just a little bit. I've got the opal in there. I'm going to keep it that way. And then I'm going to start pouring the blue and kind of level it out and tip it a little bit back this way. Then I'm going to turn it, come back over here, put a little bit more opal in it, kind of level it out in my hand. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to spray with the alcohol. put a little bit more blue in there don't want to go over I'm gonna let that sit a minute I'm gonna take this and we'll go up around in there just like that up around the edge there we go and we got that done and I want to do a tray because I'm weird like that. I like to do sets. So I'm going to do a little bit of opal down here. Because I want more teal. And this this teal and this um, well, it's called laser blue, but it's more of a teal. I want more of this than I do the other. really pretty. Alright, let me go around this edge here. I'm going to spray it a little bit. I'm going to hit everything else with a little. Oh, 
I'm just going to go again around these. Just because you got chunky glitter in there. There we go. Alright, super pretty, super pretty I think. Now, just like with the last set I did, I like to do a little trinket dish. So I'm going to take my opal. You will see opal. that when I went to zoom back out, I okay. stopped the recording. Zoom. So All right, you missed we have some all things. This going Sorry. On. I'm going to decide. I poured the leftover resin in here. I sprayed my cup that I mixed my resin in. I'm getting a little bit of a piece of whatever out of there. And got these all swirled and, and the edges checked. So what I'm going to do with this little bit of leftover resin is I'm going to, wait a minute, let me find them. My little skulls. You know, I love my little skulls. Um, looks like they need to be wiped. Let's clean them up a little bit. Make sure we don't have anything inside there that will change the way something's going to look. Oops, yep, there was something. You see, I just take my tape and go down in there and remove it. And that tape got nasty. Let's get another piece. I buy my tape from Sam's Club. With Prime membership, I don't even have to go into the club. I just go online, I order it, they ship it direct to me. I get it in less than two to three days. So typically what I do when I get to my last roll, I automatically order another box. All right, so these are super cool. And what I want to do with these, because I got this new um, smitten in from Diamonds and Dust off of Etsy. And tap it down a little bit. See how pretty that is? And I'm going to add a little bit here. All right, we've got smitten in there. And I wanted to add some of that laser peacock blue. Let me get a spoon. I'm gonna take my, I took, I take my all the way down in there because this is a chunky, which means it's got all kinds of sizes of glitter in there. Tap that spoon off, put this up, and I'm gonna stir it. There we go. And I'm gonna be easy because I don't want this to pop out over my projects because I don't have any smitten in them projects. <laughs> so you see that? Look how pretty that is. Let me see. My Ikea light. Just angled it over here. So pretty, right? Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put this into my skull molds, but I wasn't thinking I want to spray with alcohol. Roll that around in there. Okay. Just going to put it in there over here, put it in there.
see how pretty that is inside. I love these little skulls. They're my favorites right now. They've been my favorites. I make little keychains and stuff out of them. Hey guys so it's I got busy I didn't get back downstairs to this so it's been more than eight hours yep um, so the, ha the heat mats kicked off nothing's still warm and we are going to unmold a few things so I'm gonna move these out of the way first if anybody's interested in some of these just let me know smells like something's hot. I'm not really sure what that would be. Got everything's running, the ventilation system, everything's going. I don't know. All right, so anyway, I just had a little bit of resin left, and so I put it in this little rabbit mold. You buy these rabbit molds off of Amazon or Timu. Um, I've got I've got three sets now. Two sets come from Timu, one set come from Amazon. They're a little bit cheaper on Timu, but you got a little bit longer wait. So, anyhow, there wasn't a lot. See, there's just a little thin layer, um, but I think this color is super pretty. And we are coming up on Easter, and I do have a big craft show coming up on um, March 16th. So, wait, let's undo this. And isn't that just beautiful? He's so cute. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do his little eyes and I put some vinyl in his little ears and um, maybe make a keychain out of them and we can put a name or something on there. You know, like your child's name, like Opal or Mary or Tom, whatever you wanted on there. So I think that's what I'm going to do with it because it is thin, but it's hard. So, and the longer it cures, you know, it'll be good to go. I just love it. All right, let's get that out of the way. That, that, and, and my video did not record when I was mixing this, and I was super upset. That is this new glitter I got from Diamonds and Dust on Etsy, and it's called Smitten. And I mixed that with the Leo Bro Laser Peacock Blue. So, Smitten and Laser Peacock Blue. That's what was in there. Oh, wow. Just beautiful, right? All right. Let's get this out of the way. 
we're gonna set him right there by the let's resin or by the let's resin by the magic resin bottle okay these are my two little skulls that I did with the same mix And I started to, I had my nails cut back a little bit when I got them done a couple weeks ago. And I started to go back shorter, but I'm like, no, because I use them. <laughs> I do use them. You see how I use them. Isn't he pretty? He's so pretty. Oh, I just love him. He's just adorable. Let me lower this a little bit. You're going for a ride. There, you went for a ride. There we go just pretty <clears throat> all right don't like little flashings and things like that we got enough of that everywhere glitters everywhere um, resins everywhere I have to take the shop back because this is a basement and it has cement floors so I get the big shop back and put the big vacuum end on it and I vacuum the floors <laughs> it's pretty funny all right, get those out of the way. But look, I got two pretty little skulls now. I just love them. I just love them. And remember, we used Smitten from Diamonds and Dust off of Etsy and Leobro Laser Peacock Blue from Amazon. Pretty. All right, let me get those out of the way and we'll move on. All right, let's do this tray. Now this tray has Glitter Makes It Raspberry Delight, Laser Peacock Blue Leo Bro in this end, and Renf Renfio, I always have problems saying that, I don't know how you say it, let's ask A-L-E-X-A. Alexa, how do you pronounce R-E-N-F-I-O? Okay, here's pronunciations. I would pronounce it as Renfio. Either way, I have a feeling that I misheard you. I have some suggestions on what you might have been trying to pronounce. Do you want to hear them? No, you did great. Thank you. I didn't get that. Please try again. No, thank you. Okay. Ren Renfio is what it says. You heard, you heard my Alexa, and my Alexa is a male. So, there we go. All right, so let's unmold this. Got a little bit there. Clean that up a little bit before it goes. There we go. Now let's see what it looks like. Oh wow. That is beautiful. Oh my. Wow. I can just say wow a hundred times. That is just beautiful. All right. That turned out beautiful. Let's uh, let's do the coasters. I need to put this back over here in their little boxes. That, yes, absolutely gorgeous. Wow.
Yes. Wow, these turned out gorgeous. They just turned out gorgeous. What do you think? A, the coasters were great. Let's do this. I always like a little heart. So when I do my trays, either this tray or the longer tray, I like to put a little heart or something in it. So let's unmold this little heart, see what it turned out like. Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful. You see, I just got a little bit of, I just got to hit that with the uh, burring tool or the sander. I don't have bubbles, I don't have nothing. Beautiful, right? There we go. See, can you see it? Stunning, huh? And here we have the dish, because I do a dish with all trays. Um, let me see. And I use these molds a lot, and I always order backups. You can get these little molds off of Timu. You can get them off of Amazon. I will look to see if I can find a link for them at at least one of the places. I will try to do that. Your washer is done. My washer's done. All right, I wanted to clean that up a little bit before I, um, I molded it. You see all that stuff that could have gotten down inside there? All right. Now, you see this right here? I use this a lot. See how I take it and I stretch and pop that whole, that whole vacuum there. You know, they, use, they lose their shine after some time. There's nothing you can do about it. Just comes with use. Look how gorgeous. Look how gorgeous. Wow. So got a little trim piece of resin there. Let's see what this turned out like. This one is a little more complicated to get into. But once you break the seal, come on. And I used to use my, my nails all the time and I got to where I was cutting. The resin was cutting me across. So some of these things I have found other ways of breaking these seals. There we go. And you see that resin, that little piece of resin coming off the top. I'm gonna get the tape for that too because I don't, I don't want that to go inside my mold. Sometimes when they're really clear like that, you can miss them. And most times it's not gonna make a difference if you're pouring something in there, but sometimes if it's not clear, then, um, yep, there's another piece. It can really mess up a mold you're putting a specific color in. There we go. And it's starting to lose its shine. I know it is, but it's still, this one's still pretty. Look how pretty that is. I'm gonna take the, see it's got a little bit of flashing there. We'll take, look how pretty. Wow. Wow. That is so pretty. Just goes so well. Right there. What do you think? So we got these, this. And we got one, 
two, three, four coasters. Ooh, and don't forget my skulls. Beautiful and ha ha ha, Mr. Bunny Rabbit. Yep, Mr. Bunny Rabbit. All right, I'll take some other pictures and then I'll get this shared to you. Have a great evening.